All right, guys, well, here is the giant Incan corn from Peru. As you can see, uh, it's pretty big. Here's my hand. So this is, uh, this is some pretty big corn here. This has two pieces on it, which is pretty weird. This one here, th this one's pretty fat, which is what we want to see. This one looks pretty good. That one looks okay over here. And you can see over here, uh, I had to get on a ladder to get it down. So uh, it's pretty tall. It's probably like 20 feet tall. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start opening some of these right now. And we're going to see what's in them. I, uh, I do not know what's in these. So um, I guess I'll start with this piece here. Imagine there's corn in them, but I don't know what it looks like. So. Now this is weird. Look how many layers of sort of husk is on this, which is pretty weird. Um, a little bit of bugs in there, which is normal. But uh, I see some of those giant kernels they talk about. Hmm. Kind of have to do some cutting here. This thing is really in there. Sorry, someone has a drill on, so we're, we're just going to let them go, but... Oh, wow, there you go. Look at that. So, uh, it's not fully filled out, but there's a few of them. Very strange looking. So, they're huge. I mean, you can look at my thumb compared to the size of this thing. So, let me see... Let me try this one. This is a good one here. This one looks pretty filled out. So let's try this piece. This might be my best piece here. Let's see what's in there. Cut that off. Get through some of these layers here. Still kind of green there. This looks pretty healthy here, actually. It looks pretty fully formed probably the, uh, the way it should look. Let's see what's on the inside of it. This is very exciting by the way. Wow! Look at that. Wow, look at that. Holy cow! That is amazing. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's exactly what it's supposed to look like. Wow. So there it is. Uh, this is exactly what you want. You can see these are enormous. Some of them have colors on them. Oh my gosh. Looks like I did it. So let's try another big piece. So let's try... Let's try this one. This one here is pretty big. This one's a little bit misshapen. But it's a little messy. It's just part of the fun. So. All right. You can see it's still really green, which means it probably could have kept growing for quite a bit longer. But uh, we're in mid-November in Seattle, so there's not a whole lot of growing but oh my gosh this is this is weird oh wow this is uh this almost looks like an alien or something <laughs> try this one here something that looks normal out of this one. Let's see what we got. Uh, 
Come on. There we go. Oh yeah, this one, uh, pretty normal looking. Yep, that's what it's supposed to look like right there. Look at that. There we go, look at that. That is the giant Peruvian corn. It didn't fill out all the way, but it did pretty good. And the size of it's enormous. Some of these are speckled too. That one's speckled. All right, Should keep going. Let's try this one here, and then I'll. Uh, finish out the harvest. So this one's weird. It's got this little arm attachment on it. I'm not sure what that's all about. I'm going to cut that off. Yeah. Got some bugs on it, which is normal. Yeah, this one's going to be a little bit smaller. Gosh, it's got so many layers on this stuff. It's pretty incredible. This might not have anything on it now that I've gotten all the way down. Oh, it's got a couple. But. Oh. So, not much on that piece. One of them fell off. This is a small kernel, and you can just see the size of it. Um, it's huge. These pieces are huge. So, I could try this one. We could see. Let's see what's on this piece. This one didn't, this one's super immature. This is kind of like, it just didn't form, so. So that's probably all the good ones I got. You can kind of look over here and see. This one's weird. Um, so yeah, some of the kernels didn't do that great. This one did awesome, and probably what I'll do is next year, I'll take seeds from the middle, those are the healthiest plants, and I will replant them, and um, it'll likely uh, be a good corn that's suited for this environment. This one kind of tasseled really early on, and um, the ear came out really early on for this one, so um, if I replant it next year, it's probably going to do the same thing. So I'll probably plant, a, you know, like these really healthy ones here. Now I'll plant those again next year and then um, we'll see what we get. And these are, these may have crossbred with some of my other corn because you can see there's speckles on them and they typically don't have speckles. So some other corn could have pollinated it. And this one actually pollinated all the way to the end, which is kind of rare, but um, yeah. So that's where we are. That's the uh, giant corn harvest. It took, uh, we planted them in late April and it's November. So May, June, July, August, September, October, November. That's seven months, or just maybe six and a half months that these have been growing. So it's a very, very long season corn. Anyways, thanks 